lot different well, nowadays to when we first started to travel by trains. The, the infrastructure's all different now, like railway, even railway station buildings and signalling and all that sort of thing. It's all sort of modernised now. Modern trains today, they're just trains. Steam Rail Victoria is a uh, non-for-profit organisation that runs uh, steam trains around Victoria. Where we are currently is Newport Railway Workshops. It was built, or started being built in 1880, um, and it was finished in 1884. And this was the major rebuild facility for Victorian railways. We restore old Melbourne electric suburban trains. Uh, we do the timber work, um, oh, varnishing, varnishing re-canvassing roofs, upholstering. So I started volunteering 12 years ago. So I was a kid and uh, coming down with mum and then um, about six years ago I actually got employed by Steam Rail when I left school. I sort of personally prefer the old school way, I like bashing things with hammers rather than getting a robot to do it and um, it was my grandfather on my mother's side. He loved these things and um, used to take my mother out and then of course she then started taking me out and yeah, that's, that's really how the interest of train or steam trains came about. I've always been interested in trains. Uh, we lived down in Altona when we were kids and we used to ride these old swing door cars as they call them. They used to run from Newport to Altona and you know, mum would take you into town for the, during the school holidays and you'd ride in them and you'd think they were fascinating and it's just always been with us I suppose. What do we enjoy? Well, it's the, the company of the various people that come down here and work. Made lots of friends here. A um, friend of ours, he's here today, he's working on the old carriage out there. He's a, a surgeon. Yeah. Works in, the, uh, I think, Epworth Hospital. Yeah, another young chap, he's not here today. He works for the National Bank. He's pretty well up in the National Bank. Yes, you get all, all, all walks of life come down here. A lot of the people here are volunteers and they just carry out whatever, you know, whatever interests they have. People I've met here, um, you know, you end up finding yourself at a pub with them or something and you think, how'd this happen? But yeah, it's all because of this joint, I suppose. Uh, everyone's here for the, the right reasons, so it's, it's really sort of a happy environment to work in and, and be a part of. So. Well, we were notified at, I think it was two o'clock in the morning by our chairman that there was a fire down at Newport that was in bays two and three, which we're in at the moment, but they didn't know whether it was our carriages or the country cars. So we got down here about... Oh, half past three, wasn't it? Half past three, I think, but they wouldn't let us come anywhere near the fire. We had to stay at the gate. And then about seven o'clock, that morning the fire was virtually out and then the, the fire chief wanted Tom and I to come inside the building where the fire was. And that's when we found out uh, it was the four carriages that we'd worked on for over 30 years had been destroyed. We spent 30 years of our life doing this work and it had gone in a few hours. Yeah, that's a picture there of... Um, the leader carriages that were lost in the fire. It's an electric suburban motor coach. Swing door. Uh, swing door one, there were four of them. But it is disheartening when you put all your life's effort into it. That was a very sad day for Kevin and I when all this happened. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, we fund our work with our rail tours we run around Victoria. So being a non-for-profit organisation, the only income we get is uh, as many bums on seats as we get. So, you know, so um, yeah, that's, that's why we try and run as much as possible to get as many dollars in as possible.
I used to like um, taking uh, people up into the cab with the driver so they could just see what it was like in there. Everyone seems happier and uh, I think a lot of people really appreciate these old things. You know, I mean, it's an era that's now gone and um, a lot of people, especially younger generations, won't get to experience it and it was such an important part of history that you know, it really needs to be kept and, and shown to the world really. Train, oh train, take me back. Yeah.